two tribes sworn to hate. Their blood-stained bodies left out in the open to rot. Their souls longing for a peace that they failed to find. As they sought to break the shackles of darkness and heal the wounds of the past, fate denied their quest and thrust them into war. The bridges of hope some dared to build between them were torn asunder. Their dreams were ripped from their hearts with a sword, with a destiny revealed at last. Kushiro, what is it? Tenzin-sama, he wishes to speak with you. I see. Yenosuke-sama, I must meet with my cousin. Your carvings are well adorned. What? Impressive craftsmanship. I wanted to know who among the Iga could carve such charming owls, so I asked Oboro-sama. It's something that I hope you may someday teach to the children of Koga. Your name is Koshiro-sama, yes? Oboro-sama and you grew up together, if I'm not mistaken. I have my share of siblings. It's frustrating to care for them sometimes. I don't have time for this. You filthy Koga. You will answer all of my questions truthfully. If you are dishonest, you will not leave this place alive or in one piece. Now out of the Koga Ten. 
First, there's this Moroga Hioma. I have heard much about that one. It is said that he is a blind ninja. What I want to know is, what are his specialties? There is the woman, Kagero. What techniques does she employ? And let's not forget Kisaragi Simon. Hmm. Ah, nature is calling, is she? I will be happy to provide assistance as soon as you provide answers. Do you actually think I'd tell you anything? If you don't tell me, you know what happens. Tell me something first, old man. What is it? The more I look at you, the more I wonder. What the hell's crammed into that head of yours to make it look like that? Mm. Why don't you tell me that while I think up answers for you? You should know this. My head is packed tight. Filled with loathing for the Koga, it swells with each breath you take. For me, the memories echo as if sent from yesterday. You treacherous Koga took advantage of the Oda's surprise attack, and you massacred the Ego with no regard for what the future would hold. <laughs> I think the liar here is Don Joe. He's kept so much hidden from you. He would never lie to us. The Koga. We're more honorable than that. We treat our enemies with respect. You don't know what you're talking about. Mm. I can't criticize you for your loyalty. It's natural. Quite honestly, had the Iga been in the place of the Koga, we would have done the same as you. Then how in the hell can you Iga call us underhanded? <laughs> Now then, it's time for you to answer. I don't think I need to ask you about your skills, do I? <laughs> Cutting off your ears will be first. Then I slice off your right arm, then your left arm, then on to those voluptuous breasts. Hmm. Somehow I doubt you're up to such an unending torture. Now... It's time for you to speak. <laughs> My hand! It's... it's stuck! <laughs> Let go of me, you...
Igas are up to something. I must see if Genosuke Sama is safe. Then back to Koga. If I can make it there alive. Genosuke has told me many things about this place. He was right about this much. The layout is amazing. Hmm. They've been attacked by the Oda in the past. They've ensured that they're very well protected at this point. We must take care. It's likely they have scouts all over the area. I'm going in through the front. We should meet inside. Unless you have an objection. See you inside. Simon! Remember that Genosuke Sama's safety is at the center of our concern. You think for one second that I've forgotten? Counting on you, Okoy. I know. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. Rusai! Are you in here? Hmm. Huh? <sighs> Tell me something, wench. Has my friend Rusai been through here tonight? You know, the old man with the long white beard. Kill me. Well, it looks like you've already gone ahead and told him everything that you know. No Koga woman who has been humiliated by an Egan can allow herself to live. What? That old dog. <laughs> I didn't think he could get it up anymore. But what do you know? He's still got some life left. I'm surprised. <laughs> and he was nice enough to leave you behind so I could take a turn myself. <laughs> No use in hiding. Uh. 
This is the same woman. She was part of the Iga who attacked Manjadani this morning. What does she see? I am. But just who did you believe me to be? <laughs> if she's testing me, there's only one other course of action I can take. Suspicions too early? It, it must be the shock, or the snake bite, but I just wasn't completely sure that you even recognized me. I'm so sorry. It was just because when you left for Sunpu, your hair was so much different than it is now. I was just confused, my love. Really? I tried to make sure everything was the same. It's Kogadanjo and that beast Kazumachi Shogun who are behind all this. The signs do point to that. I do have some good news, though. There's word circling that Danjo is dead. What? And as for Shogun, I think you'll be proud of me. I killed him myself, no mercy spared. For you, my love. I see. You've done very well. Now I see Jubei's prophecy. It seems his sight is pure. Tell me the truth. <laughs> Don't you prefer me so much more than that wrinkled old bag of wind? Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Are you still turned on? Get off me! You smell fighting legs! You're right. You do have more to offer than that old man. I'm going to suck every ounce of your blood right out of you.
I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Tenzin, is there something you need to tell me? Tenzin? I've given this matter much thought, and I'll be as forward with you as I can. I hope you can forgive my bluntness. Oborosama, you must listen very carefully. The retired Shogun Iyasu has ordered that the pact be dissolved. It has come to an end, and so... The hostilities between Iga and Koga will rise again. We are at war. rapturous encounter as a stranger goes unnoticed one might ignores what another fears innocent eyes torment the dark horse of deceit the pangs of hell prick as death yearns to cut through a final flicker moves through the fading light of life on the next basilisk cage of blood <laughs>